Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dan Dan the Fireman. I want to talk to you about some Harley Davidson news. This is coming from thunderpress.net, so go ahead and check them out. Link in the description for the full article. So Harley Davidson is coming out with a new bike. It's called the Harley Davidson Street Rod. It looks like a pretty cool bike. I just did a video on the Harley Davidson XG 750R for American Flat Track Racing, and I always thought it would be kind of cool if they did a production bike that had the same power, same capability, same everything. It looks like they could listen to consumers. It looks like they listen to the people that really want these bikes, and they actually did it. So there's a lot of stuff going into this bike, and I kind of want to jump into that. So Matthew Weber, Harley Davidson's chief engineer for the Street Rod said, the Street Rod will put the thrill in any urban commute. We've paired the potent new high output Air Revolution X750 engine with a revised chassis and upgraded suspension components to make the Street Rod quick, light handling, and easy to ride. Now, based on the video that you guys are probably watching in the background right now, this guy is riding around having some fun and, and Take a quick look. Look at what, and this is all marketing. Take a look at what he's wearing. He's wearing a bell bullet. He's wearing some boots with a little bit of the cuff on the pants lifted up. He's wearing a cool leather jacket, cool everything. It looks like they're hitting the niche market for basically me. Um, I have a bell bullet. I, I wear jeans and I wear boots and, and a cool leather jacket. And it looks like they're they're getting a younger crowd. Early, almost going to be 30. They're hitting a younger crowd. They're not hitting the, the baby boomers. They're not hitting the people that really want, you know, that, that are older. They're not hitting the people that are older. So it looks like they're trying to hit a, a more of a street racing type. Crowd. A lot of the naked bikes that are coming out from Honda and Yamaha and, and Suzuki and all that stuff, it looks like they're trying to hit that. They're trying to go for that crowd. So Harley Davidson lead designer Shitan Shegel, hopefully I got that right, said that we made the new bike look tough and aggressive. This aligns with the environment our riders will experience this motorcycle in. Inverted black anodized forks and triple clamps along with a new speed screen combined to add visual mass to the street front end. Increased ground clearance and new 17-inch wheels give the street rod an intimidating stance. Finally, a supercharger-inspired air intake and the deeper growl of the exhaust note draw attention to the high output Revolution X engine. It's, it's a lot of talk. It's a lot of fluff. It looks like they actually packed in quite a bit of cool things to this bike. It looks like they're, they really are listening. So it looks like they're getting the inverted shocks from the Sportster Roaster. It's something that's, it's more of a performance heavy thing. I really wish I had them on my Harley when I'm out in the desert riding around in the hills, but you know, I got an older Harley. I got a 2012 Nightster instead of the Roaster and this bike. Anyways, I digress. So the new high output Revolution X750 engine produces 18% more horsepower and 8% more torque than the standard Revolution X750 engine. Engine. The new single overhead cam V-twin engine features a larger airbox, a new dual throat, throttle body, revised four valve cylinder heads, and high lift camshafts and a higher volume muffler. We've improved airflow and then tuned this new engine to maximize mid-range torque, said Weber. It really delivers a punch between 3,000 and 5,000 RPMs, power you can always feel and use in real world riding situations. Liquid cooling helps maintain the performance and rider comfort in stop and go urban traffic. Now liquid cooling is interesting for the urban traffic is that I have it, mine is air cooled and it does get a little hot and I'd really love it if Arizona would allow lane splitting because you know air cooled keep moving i hate sitting in traffic temps here get to 120 degrees sometimes in the summer so liquid cooled has been really helpful for this so the front end features rigid 43 millimeter inverted forks gripped by a lightweight aluminum triple clamp fork rake angles tighten from 32 to 27 degrees to quicken the steering coil over rear shock absorbers have an external reservoir to increase fluid capacity and improve control the shocks increase the rear suspension travel by 31 percent to 4.6 inches a new swing you know what, guys go ahead and go to thunderpress.net read the rest of this stuff basically what's happening and i want to summarize the rest of this. It's all specs. It's all cool stuff. They've made a bunch of changes to this. Now, what I liked from the Sportster switching into the Roadster, it looks like what they're doing with the 750 switching in into the Street Rod. They have made huge improvements. And if you're going to get a 750 or if you're going to get a Sportster, my recommendation is to get the Street Rod or the Roadster. You're going to get a huge amount of upgrades. I know the 48 looks awesome with the big fat front tire, but you know what? The Roadster is going to have a bunch more upgrades. It's going to have a bunch more things, uh, inverted shocks, the better suspension, the better everything. Same thing with the Street 750. If you're going to get a Street 750, spend a little more, get the Street Rod. It's a it's a better bike overall. I think it looks awesome. I think the design of it is awesome. There's a lot of cool things. Like I said, if you guys want to read the rest of the specs, go to thunderpress.net. It's in their top stores right now. Link will be in the description and I'll see you guys later.